Hey guys, so grocery shopping on keto. Here's one of the bags that contains some of my favorite things. We just went grocery shopping at um, Save Mart. That's because it has the Kevin's sauce for $3 each pack. And $3, um, it says, I think you can just add a pound it says, but I would, oh, pound a pound and a half of steak. I would suggest adding at least a pound and a half. Um, you might be able to push it to two pounds, but with a pound, it's gonna be, um, I don't know, it's, it's just, I for me, it's a little bit too thick and too much flavor, but for a pound and a half, it comes out perfectly. Korean barbecue, this is my husband's favorite um, Kevin sauce. Thai coconut, this is my daughter's favorite sauce. Um, to give you an example, I don't know if you guys can see this. So, yeah, you can't still, you still can't see it. All right, so I'll read it off. It is five grams of carbohydrate carbs, but that's for one fourth of a cup. You're not gonna have one fourth of a cup for, for, for yourself. So I break this down into about two and a half to two carbs per serving. Um, Korean barbecue is seven grams because it just, it has more sugar. It's Korean barbecue sauce. Um, but again, that's for one fourth of a cup. So I split it in half cause you're, I mean, at the most you're getting one eighth of a cup per serving. Um, so it's about three and a half carbs. Which one is this? Oh, classic taco. I don't know if I've tried this one. I usually get the other taco sauce. Um, but my husband threw this one in. So we'll try this and we'll get back to you guys. Um, they, they have another taco sauce that I really like. Um, but we'll try this one this week, I guess. I do Taco Tuesdays, so we're always trying this. And this one is, um, holy moly, three carbs per two tablespoons. So it's about three carbs. Two tablespoons is good. This one is my absolute favorite cilantro lime sauce. I used this last night on steak. It's so good. It's almost like a verde chimichurri sauce, I guess. Um, it has a tiny bit of a kick. Super, super good. Try this one. Try it, try it, try it. With um, a good, like a, with steak or carne asada or something like that. This one only has two grams of carbs, but it's super flavorful. It's amazing. Add it to like one and a half pounds of uh, steak. I got another one because I love it so much. Oh, I got another one because I love it so much. And then, of course, we got the carb flour tortillas because we're going to have Taco Tuesday. Um, these ones saved my life. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is four net, wait, yeah, four net carbs per tortilla. This is very, very low. The only alternative to this is I think the extreme tortilla has less carbs. Um... I like the extreme tortilla, but it's just a little bit more costly. And I don't think my, my, not my kids, my, I don't think my husband likes it as much, but I mean, either one is good. I think the extreme tortillas are just more costly than these, but you know, either way, um, four carbs, it's really good. Perfect with, um, taco Tuesday, either mix it with some chicken or some, um, some steak and add some lettuce and vegetables. You're good to go. Um, we also, I'm already starting to cut into this because I cut it and then I make broth and I keep the chicken. But, um, you know, of course, best thing about Costco is their rotisserie chicken. I get two of them a week. I cut them up, I debone them, and then I put them in um, the freezer in one and a half pound increments so that I can just take it out, throw it in the skillet, and make a meal with like, I don't know, Korean barbecue or here we go Thai coconut sauce this one is the only one I would only try with chicken um, I haven't had it with with beef but I don't imagine it'd be that great with beef it's amazing with chicken though Korean barbecue obviously you probably want to do beef classic taco sauce the other taco sauce I use with chicken and I use with beef um, and both of them were great and then cilantro lime sauce I would only use with beef um, that's just me, uh, but it, it, they're, 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 they're really, really good. But um, yeah, so most likely we'll have like this and this for Tuesday. I already got my meals done. We'll have this, this, I'm gonna debone the chicken, put it in a one and a half increment, put it on the skillet, put it with some olive oil so it gets a tiny bit of a crisp, add this, um, wait for for a couple minutes, cut up some lettuce, cut up some lettuce, put up some more um, veggies, put it with this and you are done that's like a 
I don't know, like a 10 minute meal. Like it's crazy fast. And honestly, it'll probably only be like four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight carbs maybe total with the chicken and the olive oil and depending on what kind of veggies you have, you might wanna add those in. But this right here is seven carbs um, for, a, for a serving. So yeah, I would, I would just try these out. I don't know about this one. I haven't, I can't recommend it yet because I haven't tried it, but for sure these ones, these are family fa favorites. So yeah, let me know if you guys like them and if you try them, let me know.